Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a collective haul video. I haven't done one of these in so long, but I did some shopping in the last maybe month or so, and I decided to just put it all into one haul since I haven't showed you guys anything. I do have a shopping problem, I know that. I'm trying to get myself to stop shopping, but it's just so hard when I come across something and I start getting all hot and I start panicking and it's like I need that and I sometimes get it and I kind of feel guilty after, I, I kind of feel guilty about this haul, I'm not gonna lie. I should not have been shopping, but I am able to make a YouTube video for you guys, so let's get started. Okay, so the first place I stopped into was Free People. Free People is my favorite store, hands down. Um, I absolutely love it there, but I specifically went to go look at their jewelry because I saw, I think it's Love Lauren Elizabeth, I think that's her username. She had these bracelets on and she said they were, where they were from and they were from um, Free People. So I was like, I need those. That's like, she literally has my style. These are the bracelets. If you follow her on Instagram, she's already Instagrammed them. And they are so cute, I love them. They're like vintage style jewel bangle bracelets and I, don't, I really don't usually wear bangles but um, I've been really liking these and I don't know, they just have this like boho-y cool vibe and I love that, I'm all about the boho. Plus I love their little bags that everything comes in, they're so cute. I did not save all of the bags, I've had this stuff laying around for a long time to show you and unfortunately I could not save every bag, but I did save most. From Forever 21, I got a few things. Um, first is, I've already worn this, but hold on. Okay, so first is this crop top. Now it's not just any crop top, it's got this little like winged back and I got it in black as well, but I haven't worn this one yet, the tag is still on it. So they were only $6.80, that was a steal. So I had to get them. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I have kind of a sock obsession. It's kind of weird. I buy weird socks and I like them a lot. I don't know why, but here's one of these pairs. I guess it's kind of like an American flag. Uh, these were only $1.50 each, so I had to get them. You know? You know how that happens? Good, good bargain, then you have to get them because you just feel guilty for not getting that bargain after. Well, at least I do. So then here's a pink striped pair. Some mustaches. <laughs> And then a black and white striped pair. I really like these. They're just like the little ankle socks, so they're perfect with short, low top shoes. And then I also got these bangles. I got one in, sorry I keep looking over there. I should probably stop doing that. It probably annoys you guys. Um, and then I got a bangle in silver and gold, and I like to put them like up, like up here on my arm. So when I'm wearing a skirt or dress, I like to pair these with them or like a tank top or whatever. Okay, so the next place I went to was American Apparel. Um, I got three of these little crop tops and this one's white. They're like, um, they're not as tight as like those 100% cotton ones, I don't like those. Then I have a striped one and then black. Got the basics. Um, also, I will be printing on these little crop tops for my clothing line just to give you guys a little Sneak peek, um, by the way, speaking of my clothing line, this is a shirt from Savage Colors Clothing, which is my clothing line, and this is the Indian Head Tank. Um, I think we're sold out of the tank tops right now. We might have one left, but we have, I don't know if we're sold out of the crop tops too. You're gonna have to go on my website to see what we have left. I also went into Sunglass Hut because I've been really wanting these, these Ray-Bans. I actually meant to get a different color, like the green ones, but I have the blue. I actually might go, exchange them for the green still, but these are them. They're, I can't even see through them. They're so dirty right now. But um, I love these. I saw a picture of Shay Mitchell wearing them, and well, the green ones, and they look so cool, and I already have the regular um, brown ones, but I really thought these were very cool. So I decided to get these, and I love them. I went to Anthropology. They were having a sale recently, and I picked up two tops. They're the same thing, but two different colors, but I had to get them, and you'll see why. So here's the first one. It's just a long sleeve shirt, which has these patterns on the inside, and every shirt has a different pattern and different pattern string. Can you see that? They're so cute and so comfortable. They were originally $48, and then I got them on sale for $29.95. And then I also got this like dark mushroomy purple color. And then the inside pattern on there on this one is this paisley floral print and then striped 
um, and then striped drawstring. So I love these. I already wore the white one. That's why the tag's not on it. And they're so comfortable. They're not too thick and they're perfect for summer, winter, spring. All right, so next is Urban Outfitters. I absolutely love that store. Um, I also was checking out their sales section and I came across a couple tops. I guess three, not a couple. Um, this first one is this muscle tee. I don't know what this is on the front. I guess it's some sort of like Buddha or something. And I don't know, it's just really cool looking. And also what I like about it is that you don't need to wear a bandeau with it because the sleeves are short on the side. Um, yeah, so it's still a muscle style, but it's not cut down all the way on the sides. And then, I've worn this a million times already, this horse shirt. I love this. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it, like, this isn't really something I would typically pick up, but I'm, first of all, I'm a really big t-shirt person, and I figured I need more shirts, because I've been, like, over wearing my other t-shirts like crazy. So, I saw this one was also yellow, and I'm always drawn to white, so, I don't know, I thought this was fun. It's cute, it's comfortable. It was probably, like, $9.99 or something. Lastly, I have an acid wash crop top. I've already worn this as well with a maxi skirt. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see, I think I posted it. I'm pretty sure I posted in like an outfit of the day post, so you can check that out if you want. And that's it from Urban Outfitters. Next is Nordstrom. I haven't been to Nordstrom in a long time, but I recently stopped in there and I went to the BP section. Sometimes I check out BP because they're not as pricey as the other levels in Nordstrom and I think their clothes are really cute. First is, I'm okay, let me just tell you, I'm obsessed with the things that I got from here. I haven't even worn them yet because I've been waiting to show you guys because they've been sitting in this Nordstrom bag for like a week now. But um, this first is this like gauzy light um, sweater and it's one of those like, I don't know what they're called, but hold on, it's kind of confusing. It's like winged, you know what I mean? Like the sleeve is like a wing look and then the back is rounded at the bottom. Um, it's just like a really slouchy sweater and I love this. This is by the brand Painted Threads. This was $34. Um, I, I know Brandy Melville has similar sweaters like this but they're more expensive and I don't know, this one was just so comfortable. It can go so cute with dresses, skirts, shorts and a tank top, um, obviously pants. It goes with everything. And then next I got three of the same type of um, sweater, but three different colors. One is currently in my car, it's a cream color, but, and my car is locked. My dad took my keys by accident and he's two hours away on a golf trip all weekend, so I have no car and I'm by myself. Um, yeah, so anyway, they're these really, 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 really soft sweaters. I got this, um, what is this called? Like this light pink, orangey-ish color sweater and again the sleeves are kind of winged and I love that really lazy slouchy um, effortless uh, type of look and these were each $30 Is this the same brand oh it's the same brand as that other sweater called um, yeah the brand painted threads okay anyway they button up but I like to wear them open I haven't worn it yet but I'm going to wear it open I wanted them because I wanted sweaters that would go with my dresses or skirts and I didn't have any sweaters that looked good with them but these are perfect for them because they're not too long, they're a little bit cropped. They go to your waistline so it, you know they're not, sometimes long sweaters and dresses look kind of funny like you have to have the right cut and these are perfect. Anyway I got a mushroom color and like I said I also have a cream one but it's locked in my car right now. I also got a necklace from that same section. This is only $18 and I don't have anything like this. I thought it was so cute, especially if I'm wearing, again, I know I mentioned this a million times, maxi dresses or maxi skirts. I love the long necklace look. It's just a long gold like horn and a very thin ball chain and it's just so cute, I love it. It would go with anything really. My battery's dying, ah, okay, um, I'm almost done. So the last, well not the last thing, but one of the last things I got was that TJ Maxx, I went in specifically to find a beach cover up, and I found this one. Um, it looks really boho-y and I love it, it's got some lace, and I haven't worn it yet either, I got it for $24.99 compared to $50 by the brand Salitaire Swim. 
And um, I actually found one at like Nordstrom that's like a hundred something dollars that looks exactly the same. And I found that to be a huge bargain. And then downtown at the store called Glex in Charlevoix, they have all these maxi skirts and I have another tie-dye one. I don't know where it is right now, but I also got this one that's just black and has tie-dye at the end. Um, it's so comfortable. Look at my Instagram, you'll see another tie-dye one, see what I'm talking about. Because I did an outfit post wearing it. Lastly, I went to CVS and I picked up a face moisturizer. I needed one, I never use them, and I need to start preventing my wrinkles because I'm in my early 20s and now is the time to prevent my wrinkles from happening. And now I'm like getting terrified that I'm going to start getting wrinkly. So anyway, this is the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Soothing Lotion with SPF 15. It smells really good. I like scented things, they don't seem to bother me. And I really like this. It's very, it's for sensitive skin, yet it has a scent, but I really like it. I use it every night before I go to bed, every morning, and it just makes my skin feel really good. That concludes my collective haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and stay tuned for more videos because I will be putting up more tutorials and hauls, my monthly favorites, and I will take any suggestions below, so let me know what you guys want to see. I hope you guys are having a great summer, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.